Hey everyone, Kimberly here. Let's talk about your skills and what skills you need to finish this year strong. What skills do you need specifically for every area of your life? So this is you. We've talked about who else can help you. And if you feel you can do it yourself, fantastic. Do you have the skills you need to do the thing you want, to make the shifts that you want to make, to affect the change that you want to affect, and to achieve the goal that you want to achieve by the end of the year, do you have the skills that you need? So do you have the skills that you need for your physiology? Do you even know what will make you feel better? Do you even know what will make you feel more energized? Do you even know what will get rid of that pain in your shoulder? Do you even know what you're doing that's causing you to not feel your best? Do you need to learn, right? What do you need to learn? What skills do you need to develop? Knowledge is skill, right? So what do you need to learn to improve your physiology? Psychology. You've already determined the shifts that you want. You've thought about the people that might help you. But at the end of the day, you still need to implement whatever happens to be the fix for the shift that you want. Same with physiology, right? You need a set of skills that can help you create the change that you want in your physiology because you can learn everything in the world. And if you don't implement, there's going to be no change, right? So what skill do you need to learn to level up your physiology to what you want to have happen by the end of the year? People, what people skills do you need to learn, to develop, to hone by the end of the year. You know, it communicate simple communication skills, most people have never learned them. They think they have because they talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. They think they know how to talk, <laughs> right? Do you know how to listen? Do you know how to have a conversation? Conversation means both ways, not just talk and talk and talk and talk, right? It's not mastering a language, right? It's mastering a skill of communication. It's mastering a skill of being in relationship. It's mastering a skill of even your own emotional intelligence, how to get yourself into a state, keep yourself into in a state where stuff happens, kind of throws you a little bit off your game, but you can get yourself back on your game. So what skill do you need to hone? And that'll actually even go back to the, go to go to the who. Who do you need to contact to get the skills? Do you need a coach? Do you need a therapist? Do you need a psychologist? Who do you need to hone the skills so that you can affect the change that you want with the people in your life? Projects. You have projects that you want to have happen. There are going to be some people that help you with those projects, but if there's not people helping you, what skills do you need to complete these projects? Do you need to be more organized? Do you need to be more disciplined? Do you need a scheduler, right? I don't know. Do you need to learn a new software? Do you need to learn how to build something? What do you need for the projects? Even if you're gonna try to put in a garden and you don't know how to do that, what skills do you need to learn what learning do you need to accomplish to finish the projects that you want to finish by the end of the year? And purpose. You might say, what do you what what skills could I possibly need for feeling purposeful? Well, my friend, maybe you need the skill of putting yourself out there. Maybe you need to volunteer. Maybe you need to get over yourself, get past yourself. Stop stopping yourself. Start motivating yourself. Start cheering yourself on. Maybe that's what you need for your purpose so that you can get from point A to point B, where you are now to where you want to be at the end of the year. It's personal development. What personal development do you need a coach? Do you need a therapist? I don't know if therapists do personal development. I know therapists help you get over stuff, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, I apologize if I'm completely wrong with that, but 
you know, do you need, do you need a coach to learn how to level up you? Level up your identity, level up your courage, level up your clarity, level up your persuasion, level up your listening, level up your communication. You know, do you need a coach to help you do that? I don't know. What do you need to do so that you can affect the change that you want by the end of this year? What skills do you need to learn? All righty. Journal on that. This is going to be really fun because this is going to give you one more piece of the puzzle. Because if you feel like you know what you have to learn, what you have to skill up on, now you have clarity. Now you know, hey, this has been something that's been missing for me. I didn't even really think about it. I thought it was kind of okay in this area, but hey, you know what? If I just leveled up a little bit in this area, it would make a huge difference for me. It's a beautiful thing. Knowledge is power, right? So think about your skills. And um, yeah, get it on your calendar to figure out how to learn them. Not figure out, get on your calendar when you are going to learn and how you're going to learn these skills.